Hello, I'm Craig Darpino from American Auto Wire. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to check for a blown fuse. Besides a visual inspection of a blown fuse, there are a couple tools that are commonly used. There's a multimeter that'll have functions such as 12 volts DC and ohms to check for continuity, a 12 volt automotive grade test light, and wire leads, which you'll want to run directly from your battery to ensure a good ground to properly check for a blown fuse. It's always a good idea to test your meter and your test light before you go crawling under the dash of your car, just in case there's any problems with the equipment. To test the meter, you're gonna set it to 20 volts DC. You're gonna run your red lead to the positive side of the battery and the black lead to the negative side of the battery. It's coming up with just about 12 and a half volts, which tells me the, the meter's reading correctly and also that the battery has a full charge. For the test light, it's the same idea. You're gonna ground the grounding leg on the test light right to the ground on the battery, and you're gonna put the pointer probe directly to, to the positive side of the battery and make sure you get a nice bright light. And this will let you know that the bulb inside the light isn't burnt out and that you also have a nice enough charge on the battery to continue testing. The last thing we're gonna check is to make sure the meter is reading ohms properly. We're going to set it to ohms. Now when the two leads are open and they're not touching each other, you know that's an open circuit. Some meters will have an OL, which means out of limit. This particular meter shows a one when it's an open circuit. When you touch these two leads together, you're giving it continuity. It's now a closed circuit. You should get three zeros on your meter. Three zeros is usually an indicator that you have a good closed circuit. Now looking at the fuse box, what a lot of people don't realize is that the top of each fuse actually has a test port on either side of the fuse rating. These little metal tabs that stick up through the top are actually test terminals that you can, you can check while, while checking for a blown fuse. For the first test, I'm going to show you how to check a blown fuse with a test light. I have my standard 12 volt automotive grade test light with my wire lead going back directly to battery ground. This is the battery bus that runs down the fuse panel. This is gonna be hot all the time. This is gonna be the one we're gonna to use to check. First, we're gonna check the hazard fuse. Like I said before, we're gonna use the ports coming out of the top of the fuse. You can see we have battery power going in. We also have battery power going out. We know that this fuse is not blown. The parkland fuse, we have battery power going in and nothing coming out. This is a blown fuse. This is a universal multimeter. This is what we're gonna be using. Uh, there's gonna be two settings we're gonna be using on here. Uh, DC volts, which you'll set to 20. It's a 12 volt system. And then there's also ohms, which runs in different ranges here at the bottom. Ohms will be used for checking continuity. Uh, DC volts will be used for checking voltage. For this first example of checking a fuse with a multimeter, we're going to set our meter to DC volts. We're going to put it on the 20 range because it's a 12 volt system. You're going to use the meter by grounding this leg, which is the black ground side leg, to bat directly to battery ground. And we're going to use the red probe to actually check for power. Using the multimeter, we go to the input side of the fuse shows 12.5 volts on the input side and on the output side of the fuse, same thing, 12.5 volts on the output side. We know that fuse is good. Go to the park lamp fuse, again, 12.5 volts on the input side, and we get all zeros coming on the output side. Zeros tells us that there is no power going through this fuse, and that tells us that the fuse is blown. It's not always easy to tell if a fuse is blown just by visually inspecting it. So in this case, we're gonna use a meter. We're gonna set it to the ohm setting that I showed you before. And we're gonna see if there's continuity across the two poles that plug into the fuse box. So this first fuse here, put our red lead on one side and our black lead on the other. You'll notice the meter comes up with all zeros, showing us that we do have continuity, which means this fuse is not blown, it's a good fuse. The next fuse, we're going to check it the same way. 
red lead on one side, black lead on the other, and the meter is showing that there's an open. We know that this fuse is blown and it's no good. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.